Here's what's generating all the buzz on social media. The tropics as things are getting more active here on September 1st. Three separate areas that we're watching at this time. One of them in the Gulf of Mexico, actually not a concern for us. has a low chance for development, but it's going to meander over the western Gulf. One way off the coast of Africa, not expected to develop at this time. And then the one that's getting attention will be moving into the Caribbean next week. Then on Monday here, and then it'll track across the Caribbean over the next seven days. We have plenty of time to watch this. And to be quite frank, in the long term, we don't have a great idea of what's going to happen with this system. We know that it's going to get into the Caribbean, but once it gets to this point here, that's beyond seven days, and those forecast models really begin to struggle. So here's what we know right now. Uh, development chances medium 40% as of the latest update from the National Hurricane Center. This thing may become a depression or storm next week here as it gets into the Caribbean. Highly uncertain, as I mentioned, in that long-range forecast track and intensity. A lot of the models are taking this almost all the way across the Caribbean and into Mexico, but there are other possibilities, including some turn to the north. We are confident that it gets into the Caribbean here around Tuesday. Development is possible as it enters the Caribbean. Other models, especially if it ends up making its way all the way across the Caribbean, show a weaker system. Them. If it happens to be stronger, it might take that turn to the north. So we have plenty, and I mean plenty, of time to watch this thing. Not a concern for us at this time. Highly recommend that you check back on the forecast in the next few days and get an update on what's going on. You don't need to worry about anything right now. Other area, this is the one in the Gulf of Mexico. Plenty of thunderstorms for coastal Louisiana. Still going to dump some heavy rain right on the coast there, but not causing many issues. Here's a look at the water vapor imagery. This thing is going to be staying over there in the western Gulf, not impacting our weather. In fact, we have a drier picture for today. Slightly lower rain chances out there, only around 30%, mostly in the afternoon. They will be isolated very spotty showers. Here it is on Futurecast. You can see what happens. Some coastal rain uh, right now off of coastal Mississippi there. Most of it's staying offshore though. Through the morning, nothing really happens. We have partly cloudy skies, very beautiful skies as well. Some nice clouds out there. Then by 3 p.m. you start to see just a few showers that begin to develop. Once again, very isolated. Those will fade around 9 or 10 p.m. And that will be that for today. Forecast size across the area, they're going to be warmer. We see a few degrees warmer than we have been. 94 in Leakesville, 90 in Pascagoula here. In Mobile and Baldwin counties, I have Mobile at 92 degrees there, 92 in Saralam, 86 on Dauphin Island, 89 at the beaches and Gulf Shores. Medium risk of rip currents for today. Keep that in mind. 90 in Pensacola, 94 in Holt, and looking inland evergreen at 94. Some warmer temperatures there. Heads up for Labor Day, it will be slightly hotter, 95 in Mobile and after Labor Day rain chances do go up. Look at Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It says 60%. The numbers could even be higher. It's more of a conservative estimate there, but just be ready. It will be a more unsettled pattern as we end the upcoming week.